Welcome to Geeks Attic. This is another geek vlog. November is here. October is gone. Hey, just going to interrupt the video for one second. Um, the vlog will continue. There's video in here where I go to my in-laws uh, ranch where we look for a baby cow, a calf. So just stay tuned. That'll come in just a second. Just heard the news about the mass shooting in Texas, a church. Like 27 people so far as of this video have been killed, including uh, teenagers and a toddler. Um, a lot of like 30 people injured, disgusted by it, disappointed, I'm sad. The world is an evil place. It's going to continue, sadly. Um, be kind to each other, love each other, tell your family and your friends that you love them. Everybody's got their own views in politics, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. Um, my opinion, I think if you have the opportunity, you need to have yourself a firearm. Protect yourself in case of situations like this that do arise you will have the opportunity to keep yourself safe and your loved ones safe. Um, and an armed society is a safe society. If everyone's carrying, the most likely, the bad guy's not gonna wanna go into a crowd where he knows that everybody's got a firearm. Um, just so disgusted and sick by this news. Movie theaters, concerts, churches, schools, there is no place safe. Okay? It just seems to be these places where there's signs, no guns. Guys, protect yourself, okay? Don't be a jerk. Don't be an idiot. Don't say rude things to people. Don't, don't take things too far. Just be kind. Love each other. Like I said, tell your family and your friends that you love them too. I hope your Halloween was great. I hope you got to dress up to be whatever it was that you wanted to be. But now, it is November. It's time to be thankful. You should let me know what you're thankful for the most in the comments below. I'm thankful for a lot of stuff. My family, my friends, you know, my health. Now, but first I want to talk about what I am currently reading, and I've got two books that I'm currently reading. The first is from my favorite YouTubers, Red and Link. Now, um, my favorite YouTube channel ever is Good Mythical Morning. If you haven't checked that out, I suggest you do so for a good laugh, some good entertainment, okay? Now, these were just two dudes that started a YouTube channel back when YouTube first started, okay? They were engineers. They decided to leave their career path behind, seek this new opportunity, and last year, I believe it was, they made Forbes magazine, but yet, Good Mythic Morning with Written Link, but this is their book, The Book of Mythicality. It's a field guide to curiosity, creativity, and tomfoolery. Pretty funny book. I'm halfway through already. I've got my bacon bookmark. They've got a song, rub some bacon on it. Um, Good stuff. Go check out their channel if you haven't already. And of course, the second book would be a Star Wars book. From Ken Liu, we have The Legends of Luke Skywalker. Now, this is a canon book. It is Journey to the Last Jedi. It's full of myths and legends about Luke Skywalker. So everything within might not be true. Some of it might be, but it seems all exaggerated because it's all, you know, a myth. Stories passed on from person to person, so things get blown out of proportion. But it's like 400 something pages and as of this video I'm only 152 pages in. So look forward to this review coming soon. And speaking of reviews coming soon, look forward to the review of On the Front Lines by Daniel Wallace. You can also look forward to the review of Adventures in Wild Space, The Darkness by Tom Huddleston. So I just finished filming. I'm tired. It's late. I forgot to say some stuff that I wanted to say. It's actually two things I want to talk about. The first being if I don't get to these book reviews, I don't know why I'm pointing over there. The book is gone. I already cleaned it all up. If I don't get to the book reviews that I've mentioned, then I'll look forward to some Star Wars book haul videos that I've finished filming. I'll release those in place of the book reviews if I don't get to those. The second thing being a horror movie. My wife and I like to see horror movies in October in preparation for Halloween. We went to see Happy Death Day. I didn't want to see it. Wife wanted to see it. I had low expectations thinking this movie is just going to suck. It's a ripping off uh, Groundhog's Day, except it's a horror movie. I guess you could look at Groundhog's Day as a horror movie, but, you know, it's not. This one is. We walked out. Not only was it raining and thundering and lightning and hailing, actually. Um, we were happy. I enjoyed the movie. I was pleasantly surprised. I liked it. I will own it on Blu-ray when it comes out so I can watch it next October in preparation for Halloween. Yeah, Groundhog's Day, sure. But I really enjoyed the movie. It was a lot of fun. You know, it didn't have the language, the gore, the nudity. It was PG-13. A lot of fun. Scares. Jump scares. They don't, they don't get me. I went to some horror house. No. <laughs> when, when, I mean, haunted, haunted houses. 
not horror houses. Um, we went to haunted houses. They don't phase me. I don't know why I go anymore. I, I'm beyond the whole, oh, something's scary. I just know it's a dude in a suit or a robot. Not going to freak me out. The movie didn't freak me out. It was fun, but it had its thrills. I recommend it. Oh, yes, and uh, we're watching Stranger Things 2 right now. If you don't have Netflix, go get Netflix and watch Stranger Things, and then watch Stranger Things 2. I still, we still have a couple episodes to go, but I'm loving it so much. And here are the Star Wars graphic novels that I picked up. We've got Darth Vader number three, Chewbacca, and Poe Dameron number one. And now for a novelization haul, we have from Peter David, the Val Kilmer Batman, Batman Forever. By Simon Green, we have Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, starring Kevin Costner. And finally, by Peter Benchley, the number one super thriller, a novel of relentless terror, Jaws. The latest Geeks Attic giveaway has ended. The winner of From a Certain Point of View has been notified. They will be receiving this book in the mail this week. Thank you for everyone who participated in the giveaway. Thank you for subscribing. Please stick around. I plan on doing another giveaway of something when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Out at the in-laws, this is my, uh, my nephew Walker. Sad we're, we're, we're finding a baby calf that is missing. And uh, we might have found it. Mama's been looking everywhere. Have you ever eaten cow food? I have. 20% cattle cube. Calves are eating these. Well, that'll do it for this video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already so you'll be notified when I post more videos. Check out thegeeksaddict.com and do, like I said, comment below. Tell me what you're thankful for this month or rather this entire year or your entire life. What are you thankful for? I look forward to reading those comments. Have a good one.